How can global teams monitor their Baidu SEO results efficiently? A lot of the tools that are out there are really good for SEO outside of China or for inside of China, but there's not many tools that kind of put this together in a way that's useful for our clients and our team members and myself. So we use something called Dragon Metrics. We use it mainly for keyword rank tracking, but also for auditing problems on websites, checking for backlinks, and we can get all of that data and pipe it into our Google Looker reports too. I'm gonna to show you some of the key features that I think are cool about this. Let's pull it up on my screen here. Now, I have pulled up some data here for 90 days for Google and Baidu for a site called Barcode Stock, which we've worked on for a long time. And none of this data is confidential. It's all data that you could find just by going onto Google and Baidu and doing these searches. But that would be a very laborsome thing to do. This keyword report shows us the ranks and the changes in the past 90 days for a whole bunch of different keywords. Here you can see this keyword here, uh, UPC Jaga, so prices for UPC, which is a type of barcode, has a current ranking of five on Baidu, and it's increased in position by 46 in the past 90 days. Each of the keywords has data like this shown here in the, in the report, and each of them has some additional information about the search results page too, like whether there's a featured snippet, whether there are image results, etc. And up here at the top, it shows us the organic visibility over time. A higher number is better. Basically, this just gives you an overall metric to show uh, how the visibility for the project has improved over time. There's one really important feature down here too that I really like about Dragon Metrics, which is that it lets us to add additional URLs that are not from the website. Like for example, this one here from Jehu. What is it? Let's take a look. We posted this article about Barcodes Talk on Jehu, and we do it so that users on Jehu can find it, but also because it's probably going to show up high in the search results. Now, on Baidu, it can be hard to rank a website, especially a small website, uh, very highly. So one of the things that we do is we post content on a variety of different places. We post it on Jehu, Baidu Tiaba, other niche websites, and then that content will start to rank highly so that even if people don't find the website directly, they will first find the brand through these other sources. In some cases, we can even end up dominating the search results pages, having multiple entries on multiple different pages on Baidu search results by using this method. But it means that it's, it can be hard to track the data. So we've been using that site aliases, that's what's called site aliases feature, to add in the URLs and Dragon Metrics. And I think that we still have some work to do there because um, it only allows us to add perhaps a uh, hundred or so site aliases per project right now. Next feature here that I wanna show you is a keyword research tool. Uh, at the top here, I wrote Ingua Luyo, UK travel. And then it shows us some information about this keyword like the organic difficulty, estimated click-through rate, uh, their idea of the priority of this. So some of our team members who don't necessarily know much about SEO, uh, they know a bit, but that's not really their job. Their job is to create content and they come in here to come up with some ideas. Okay, They can search different keywords, um, then they can see the, the data per keyword and they can see additional keyword ideas here and that gives them an idea of what additional content to create in the future. The third cool area is this site auditor. And again, I pulled up a different website here. This is called CISI. And the reason I pulled up this website is because we do not help this company with their SEO for their website. So there's lots of high priority issues on it. This tool here, uh, it crawls the website and it finds problems and it explains those problems in an easy way. Okay, now down here I can see there's a bunch of errors that are 400 errors. That means the web page cannot be found. That's something that should definitely be checked and fixed because it affects users. And it'll show us a whole bunch of other different potential errors. It doesn't necessarily mean that we need to fix all of these, okay? Uh, but we should fix the ones that affect users, definitely. And then we should consider about uh, whether or not we should fix the other ones too.
Okay, this is the last thing that I'm going to show you today, which is a key thing. And it is that all of the data that is picked up through Dragon Metrics can be connected into Google's Looker reports. And the way that we have it organized, these Looker reports are gathering data from several different places. They're getting the Baidu data via Dragon Metrics. They're getting data from, from WeChat or Xiaohongshu or Zhuhu. Uh, and Baidu ads, Google Analytics. We take all of that and we mash it together into useful reports. So this chart here is showing us data for a bunch of different keywords, Baidu advertising keywords. And we can see how much we spent per keyword, how many impressions, clicks, um, the, the cost per lead, et cetera, et cetera. But we also mashed up, mashed in some data from Dragon Metrics here. And the reason that I did this is because I want our teams to be able to get the data from Baidu ads and use that to inform what kind of content they should be creating and targeting for SEO. See here we can see this one, this keyword number two. Um, it has some good organic visibility already and it's position number one. But keyword number one, it has no visibility now. So this means one of two things. Either we didn't enter the keyword in Dragon Metrics, and we should do that, we should start tracking it for organic data, or it means that we're not ranking for it. So it's something that we might consider targeting. This is an easy way for our advertising team members and our content team members to work together, share data, and then create better content into the future. So those are the core features that I like. What do you think about them? Also, if you sign up for Dragon Metrics, you use the code Nanjing, you'll get 5% off forever. So consider that too. Thanks. See you later.